Hello everyone, it's Joey from Sandstone Miners, and this is not Minecraft. This is Maple Story, and I was sent on a quest, and that quest was to make a Maple Story review. So I'm basically just gonna go through everything about Maple Story, blah blah blah. Really quickly, I'm not gonna go over the classes and everything, um, because that could be an entirely different video. Um, but I'm just gonna go over kind of all the features, all the things you can do, all that cool, interesting stuff. And then just kind of give it an overall rating, do I like it, do I not, is it worth it, blah blah blah, da da da. So you'll log in, and once you've downloaded the incredibly long download of the game, you will enter on this screen of the different worlds, um, with the really awesome but kind of annoying music, and, um, once you've picked a world, you will have to stay to that world with that character. So you can always pick a different world, obviously, but the character that you make will always be on the same world. So I have made all my characters to Scania, just because that's where all my friends play. Um, so if you made characters to Chaos and your friends make characters to Scania, you can't play together. So pretty simple. So. Uh, so these are all my characters. These are all my character slots. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna go on my Sparkle You Dead just because it's my highest level one, which is sad because it's only 76. I don't really play this game a whole lot. Um, so I'm going to enter my pin and then we will be back. Okay, I am back. And I am in Kerning City. Because I guess that's where I was last time. So, this is an MMORPG, which is Massively Multiplayer Online Role Playing Game. So, like I said earlier, you can play with your friends, play by yourself, whatever. Um, so, you'll make a character. You can see I'm moving around and I'm on some purpley red, it's not really purple, it's like a maroon, whoa, lag. Um, Jaguar. Um, you can see, I don't know if you can see my little mouse here. If you can, that is awesome. If you can, ignore me talking about a mouse all the time. But if you can see where my mouse is, you can see my Sparkle You Dead, which is my name. Right below that it says For the Win, which is my guild, which is this. You can add people to your guild, get points, get achievements, interesting fun stuff like that. We're um, For the Win, like I said. Uh, that, that close. And then you can also have little metal-y things. I'm a member of the Maple Alliance. Um, some other medals I have are Silent Crusade, Grand Officer, Special Training Intermediate, everyone I think gets that. Special Train Graduate, everyone also gets that. Family Comes First, that was a da 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 event. And Mushroom Kingdom Guardian, that's a quest. Most medals come from quests. Um, yeah, I don't really have a lot of medals. Um, so down at the very bottom of the screen says your level character type of character. Sorry, blah, 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 blah. type of character. I'm a wild hunter, which is, um, oh my gosh, what am I? I'm a resistance member, that's what I am. I'm a resistance member, um, so I start out in, I'll show you what part of the world I start in. Everyone kind of starts out in a different part of the world, so we're in Victoria Island right now, which is sort of, I wouldn't call it the main part, but it's, everyone ends up here. I start over here. A lot of the explorer, well, all the explorers start out in Maple Island. Um, everyone, once they get to level 30, will come to Victoria Island. Some people will start in rain, some will start in, uh, I don't, I, yeah, I think they start in, well, some start in Orbis, Peep, they start all over. Some just start in Victoria Island, it just depends what character you are, but I started over here, because I'm part of the resistance, um, and I'm a wild hunter, so that's my type. Then we have the HP and MP, pretty much everyone knows what those are, health points, mana points, I have my experience down here till my next level, cash shop, trade, menu, system, channel, this is if I want to change a channel within Scania, 
Um, it's just options. I, yeah, I don't ever use that. I don't know what trade is. Cash up are the things that you buy with real money, so you'll go to like Rite Aid or uh, the heck is Level Up Guide? I don't know. Um, or, you know, whatever places like that, uh, you'll get a little card that you buy and then you'll upload NX onto here and then you can buy stuff. I'll go on the cash shop later. These are all your quick hotkeys like potions. Um, I summon my jaguar -y thing. I can attack um, all those type thingies for my jag jump. Um, then you can talk to NPCs and get quests, so these are all mine that I have in progress that I need to do, and I probably never will. These are all the ones that I can do, and they tell you which parts of the worlds and different places that they're in. And tell you what level they're for. Or I can do party quest, that is not party quest. Oh, uh, what is this? Renegades event. Guild. Oh, right. I get some Monday. I get my guild potion. Give me that potion. These are available quests. Go away. Available events. I don't care. Quick move. Um. What the heck are you? <sighs> um. So, this is if you want to go to Battle Arena, you basically battle people. It's a good way to level up if you're under 70. Once you hit 70, it's pretty worthless. Um, and you basically battle p uh, other people. Um, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good way to get EXP. This is a dimensional mirror. It takes you to different party quests where you um, do quests with people. Um, this is Monster Park. It's kind of no, I don't know. It's kind of like a party quest, but you just basically go and just like demolish a bunch of, a bunch of monsters. Yeah. Um. I, I think that just takes you to a uh, like a a station that you can uh you know, travel to different worlds, you know what I mean? Free market is where you can sell items if you have a chair or a uh, clothing or whatever and you want to sell it for um, mesos, um, you can take it to the free market and try and get money from it. This is Ardent Mill where you can craft, um, mine, different stuff and uh, also sell it, get materials, etc. This is a taxi. Takes you to different cities within the world you're in. Part-time job? What? I, I don't know. There, there's a lot, there's like this big update that just went on. So anyways, this is Kerning City. This is where thieves start out or come to um, and train and do quests and stuff. So if you're a thief, you'll, you'll come here. I was a bowman. But, um, Bowman's go to Hennessy's, but like I said, I was a special character, so I was an Edelstein. So, I had I had a special storyline. I wasn't an explorer. If you're an explorer, you have a very boring storyline, and you just come to Victoria Island. If you were like me and you have a very special storyline, then you start out in a completely different world, and you're actually there for a while. So let's go somewhere else. Hey, taxi's right here. Awesome. Oh, I can just click on it. Take oh you know what screw taxi, I have a scroll. Go to Hennessy's. Awesome. I don't know when I started this review. Okay, so this is where the Bowmans come. I've spent a lot of time in here, and also you'll come here a lot if you do the Mushroom Kingdom quest, which I've done about four times. Don't ask why, because if you do it wrong, you have to kind of do it over again. Which sucks, but whatever. But the metal gives you really good stats, which is why a lot of people do it. 
Um, it's one of the best metals you can get easily. Because a lot of the other metals are very hard. So yeah. I want to see what this is. What the heck is this? Dude! This is cool! It tells you like recommended stuff to level up. Well, hi. Well, what? It's a character slot expansion coupon. Here's a free character slot. Da -da. Except, I have like five of these. You have received the game item. Oh, cool. Oh, what the heck is that? Use. Uh -huh. Well, isn't that convenient? It is. Um, okay. So, you can also get married in this game. Um, I am married, but to my cousin, which is a little odd. We only did it for, uh, the cool reward that you get, which we have actually haven't done yet. Um, only because... I'll, I'll tell you in a second, but, um... You can do this quest and you get these items that are worth a lot of money that you can sell in the free market for a lot of messes. Um, but when we went to go- but you have to go do the quest with other married couples, and all the married couples that were there didn't speak English, um, and were kind of doing it by themselves and weren't asking us for help, and it doesn't work if not everyone's participating. And so we kind of had to leave, and then we sort of never did it after that, so... Yeah. So if there are any married couples out there that need to do it, please tell us, because we really want to do that quest. Um, so yeah, this is who you talk to to go get married. It's like $20 to get married though, in, in real people money. Like we went and returned cans and bottles um, at like Albertsons or something, and then we went and got married, so great way to waste money. Um, this game is a great way to waste money. I I come onto this game for a couple months at a time and then forget about it for a couple months and I actually haven't played it in a while and um, as I was waiting for the patch to load they have a lot of cool stuff again. They have a lot of permanent items like uh, the, the cash shop items are only for 90 days or whatever but they have a lot of permanent items right now. We'll go to the cash shop. And, um, which is pretty cool. Okay, so this is the cash shop. Um, basically, you have a bunch of different tabs here. And, um, for NX, um, I think for like 2000 NX equals $2 in regular money. I think. If I'm wrong, someone like, correct me anyone even knows who's watching. Yeah. Um, I could, I could check that because I could go to the wedding tab, but um. So here are the pets. A lot of these pets right now, like see they say Days of Magic 90. Um. Um, but. Come on. Some of these are permanent. Probably in the event ones, cause they're... See, it says Bonky Permanent. Permanent. So those are like the permanent pets. So they're all over here, yeah. White Tiger Permanent, and, but they won't be permanent forever. Like, um, they'll become 90 days, um, I think July 11 again or whatever. So if you don't buy these by July 11th, um, they'll become 90 days again, but if you buy them between the time period they become permanent. Um, I probably won't get one just because I'm not even on here enough. Um, but, yeah, so they have all these things and, I mean, you know, they have these equipped things and, you know, you can try them on and see how they look on your character or whatever. You know, you can see it's trying it on my character over on the side there. Other than I have my big crossbow on the side of my face covering it, but you can buy a bunch of wedding crap. You know, whatever. Um, so yeah, and then um, a lot of times also 
Oh. Uh, yeah, like, these are things that, um, they're cash shop items, but I kind of won them. Like, if you, um, and this has only happened if I've been in Windows mode, which is, um, Alt and then Enter on the keyboard. If you exit, it'll say, like, you have won a free cash shop item, and then you click on it, and then it says, in three days, come back. But really, if you just log on, it's there. You come to the cash shop here, and you get a free item. Um, these are two pets that I've gotten, and then I've gotten... A couple other things are probably not in here anymore, um, but they've been just like couches and pillows and whatever, you know, um, so that's been kind of cool. But so, um, yeah, Maple Story gets kind of addicting when you want to buy stuff and it uses a lot of your money, but then it becomes kind of ridiculous because it's like, seriously, like, w this is really stupid. Why am I spending my money on, like, stupid crap for this, you know, um, so, and then you kind of think like six months later, why did I ever do that, and then six months later you're buying a bunch of crap again, so, it, yeah, so hold on, I'm gonna have to stop recording here for a second, because it's just gonna crash my game again for the third time, so hold on a second, okay, I'm out of the cash shop, um, so that's it, I mean, you, you do quests, you can do party quests, you can, Bottomless bag title? I don't know what that even means. Um, you can roam around, go to the free market. They'll try and survive lag of the free market. I'm not in channel one. Here's Gatchapon. You can buy Gatchapon tickets in the cash shop and try and get stuff like lottery type thing. Um, you can you can do a bunch of random stuff. This is the free market. Um, people stand around, and sell stuff. There'll be people in these little doors here that have automated NPCs selling stuff for them. Never go to the free market channel one. That will die. Like, I mean, it'll make your computer die. Um, if you go in there, you better have a good computer that doesn't lag for anything. Um, so yeah, so just figure out what character you want to make. And... You, you really gotta be like a hardcore patient person and grind a lot because if you don't you'll be like me and just be like oh no I wanna go explore and you'll be level 70 forever so yeah so overall I would give Maple Story probably a 6 out of 10 just because it, it's really fun but it's not fun by yourself it's fun if you have other people with you so that's why I'm always nagging my friends to play because it's always fun with other people and um, you know once you run out of things to do it's not fun so it's only really fun during events and when you have a quest you have to do and once you've leveled up and all these random quests pop up and you go off and do them and then once you've done them you sort of don't have anything to do and then you have to go grind for like three hours before you actually get a percentage of an exp and it gets a little annoying after a while so it just depends how into the game you are but I think it, it's a good break from I guess the regular games out there? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I think it's worth a try if you've never played it before. If you've played it before and you've exhausted every feature on it and you haven't played it in years, I mean, they do have new stuff that I guess you could check out, but there's not a whole lot new stuff. So that's about it. That is Maple Story. I hope you enjoyed the review and whatnot. If you want to know more about the different classes and characters and whatnot I can do that too but you probably don't even care so that's about it this is sandstone miners on maple story goodbye oh and look at this aren't I lucky I get to select a gift OMG what am I going to select I don't even know um <laughs> they're all so stupid honestly face coupon I like my face I don't want to change my face. I'll get you. I select you. Please come back in three days. Goodbye.